What's up? It's Gabriel and welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be going over the video editing software I use. You know, I think it's an important thing to go over what I use because, you know, you might want to use it, you know. It's called DaVinci Resolve 18. That's what it is. Check it out. Okay. For starters, you're going to want to go onto your browser and look up DaVinci Resolve. So, DaVinci Resolve, boom, and there it is. DaVinci Resolve 18, first link, boom, you click on it. Once you click on the link, scroll down, and there's the DaVinci Resolve free download now. Now, you can buy it too. And the studio version comes with more features that and um, stuff you can use that the free version doesn't have. But honestly, I've been getting along perfectly well with the free version. So unless you really want to buy it and you want to be able to edit stuff like to the max, get the the what's it called the buy it. But if not. We can just free download and you just click on the free download like that and they have different options but basically you want to stick to this portion on the left because you're not going to get the studio version because the studio version costs money and you would just click Mac OS for if you have that operating system Windows for Windows and Linux for Linux so I have Windows, so I clicked on Windows. I'm not going to click on it now because I already have it. But basically, you click on Windows and then you fill out some information that they want um, you to provide. And then you just download. And then you're good. And then it should come in your downloads folder. And then you'll have it on your computer. Yes! <sighs> now let's get into what it looks like. Okay. So the DaVinci logo looks like this. You click on it and it'll pop up like this and you wait and then you have options and you won't have videos on here already I just have videos because this is I've already made a couple of videos in DaVinci Resolve but basically you would just click untitled project and basically it will look like this but ignore this because I'm just going to show you the one that I'm currently working on, which is this video. So when you first get into DaVinci Resolve, you have basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different sections. This is where you would upload stuff into the DaVinci Resolve. So you would just do that by just doing Control I and then just clicking where looking up where you want to um, upload stuff on to like files like pictures videos whatever you know onto the DaVinci Resolve but where the magic can happen is here you can cut cut certain things so if you wanted to cut a portion of the clip right here I think you click you right click you could cut it I'm not gonna cut it for the sake of this video but it also shows you you know the stuff you can insert here um, but I usually spend most of my time in this section the edit section so there's the media section the cut section the edit section the fusion section Fusion, I don't really go into too much, so I'm not going to go over that. But if you want to learn more, there's other YouTube videos that can go over that. This is the, let's see, what is that? That is the color section where you can, I guess, if you have like a picture, let's say you wanted to edit a portion of the, I don't know, honestly. I don't touch that section so and then this is I guess the sound section but I let's just focus on this section 
easy because I'm not an expert by no means. I'm um mm, beginner to intermediate, I guess, at this. I'm learning, you know. We all need to learn. So, you know, how it works is it has basically let me zoom out. No, not zoom out. Let's not zoom out. We have a, a video clip and an audio clip. And basically, you can upload just an audio, or you can upload a video with an audio. And you can do many things. Like, let's say you don't want this to sound, so you can like mute it. And if you press play, you won't hear it. But keep in mind, this whole thing, row, will be, you won't hear it. But that's good if you had a section you wanted to mute and you like put more videos but anyway you can upload up to let's see one two three four different videos if you wanted or different like rows of stuff if you want or four different audios but yeah so these two are separate videos you basically if I wanted to let's see I wanted to zoom out and go over here and insert another video I could just drag this clip and insert it here or I could just put it here and it'll cut to there but we're not gonna do that so let's just get rid of this before I forget to but basically there's a lot of things you can do um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna go over everything in a short amount of time because I know you have places to be and things to do. But anyway, um, you can add text. So I added a text. You can add an image. And you can add a generator. Now a generator is just like a solid color background. But depending on how you organized the clips, well, show you um where they will be placed like the placement so if this if i put the logo on top of the text it wouldn't show that like you have to like play around with it but yeah so i'm thinking hmm hmm you just gotta gotta play around with it um, I know for starters that you can um, do a transform so let's say you wanted to zoom in I like you just do this and you go to you click this diamond in the corner and you click transform this diamond next to transform next to zoom and position and you just put the position you want and they're like uh, a marker basically of where what you want to happen in that moment so you'll see that from this marker on to this marker it zooms in and then from this marker to the next marker it slowly zooms out so that was something that I found fun to do um but basically, that's what you can do in here. There's like a lot of stuff. Like they have like a scroll text where it scrolls or like different text you can do. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, there's a blur. Like if you wanted to add a blur dissolve or um, a cross dissolve. I haven't really tried too much because um, sometimes DaVinci Resolve will um, will basically DaVinci Resolve may not let you use some things because again this goes back to the studio version versus so the free version versus the version you buy if you buy it you have more things in your toolbox to use but um basically you just gotta play around with it and from there you will like definitely most 
definitely like have fun. I'm I'm starting to think of what else I could go over. But honestly, it's a free little program and it's pretty fun to play around with. I almost forgot that I need to show you the last section which is when you want to render your video basically getting it ready to publish you can pick a couple of options usually I just click YouTube and give it a title save it where I want to save it in my computer and then um, basically you click add to render and then you render all over here and then boom you're done but I guess I shall show you now real quick so I've been like naming this video how to use DaVinci Resolve 18 boom and I will browse and I will click um how to do and we're gonna call it um we're gonna call it the final I name all my videos the final and then bam we're gonna add to render render all and then it's gonna take some time to render so I won't show you how long it's gonna take to render but once it's done rendering it will be in the location that you saved it over here so yep good thing I included this that's the video and that was DaVinci Resolve so I may make another video when I get a little bit better with DaVinci Resolve or maybe focus on one area that was this is just a generic generic cover of DaVinci Resolve DaVinci Resolve 18 by the way and I will catch you in the next video peace